Oh, what a people! It's me, it's me, it's Raven the L.E.G. And welcome to another episode of Star Wars Force Collection. And this is going to be a real quick one. And I know I always say it's going to be a real quick one. But it is actually going to be a real quick one on this one. Basically, you know, I've been saving up packs and all this for May the 4th. And I can't take it anymore. I'm going to leave the AP as it is. It's currently on 60,000. I keep um, I keep going from 60,000, gravitating up to around 100, and then, you know, losing self-control and knocking back down again. I'm going to keep it. It's going to be at least above 60,000 come May the 4th. That will happen, I promise you. Um, but yeah, I've got a little craving for some packs. So we're just going to do five platinum packs right now. Because I got to get mine. And then I'll show you a few changes I've done to my deck. Or maybe do a bad. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Basically, I need I need to get the packs out of me. So five packs. Five platinum packs. One five star would be amazing. Um, basically anything tradable would be would be good at this point. So um, I've got 15 here. We're gonna do five, like I said, we'll save ten for May the 4th. Any other packs that I get, I will put there. I say it now, I'm probably lying. You know I have a problem with packs, people. <laughs> right, so we're going to go uh, five packs. Let's do this. Let's just get straight on it. Let's see what we're working with. Pack number one. Platinum number one. Give me number one. Right, it's not new. It is four. And it is... Eh. I mean, it goes on the trade pile, basically. That's it. Dark side four star trade pile. All right, let's get on with you next. So like I said, we're only going to do the five, and then the rest are from May the fourth. Oh, it's new. It's four. Oh, it's five. Oh. Oh. Now, I have no idea what the value of that card is, but uh, hell yes, I'll take a bit of that. Yes, that looks. Beast! If it's a Vader card, it can't be bad, right? It's Vader! Alright. I'm guessing that's what they call the old Vader. I don't know the value of it. Yeah, I, I've i done a light side formation since I started. But just the fact that we got a 5 star out of that is awesome. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm going to explain to you in a minute about the kind of pack luck I've had lately. But let's get on to these last three we're going to do. Wow. Woo! 5 star. I'm just glad we got one, alright? It's new again. Four. Vulture Star Droid. Eh. The problem is, whenever it comes up being new, I'm getting excited. But because I've not done Dark Side, you know, every time I get side selected while I go light, you know, I'm bound to come across new Dark Side four stars, which I didn't get before. So, two to go. We've had the one five star. Again, I can't be mad. If you get platinum packs and you get one five star in five, you've done okay, to be fair. So, two more. Second to last, let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Four is four. It's Padme. I've got so many Padmes. I've already made one 815 Padme. I'm on my way to making another two. I, I actually I think I've got enough cards to make two more. That's how many of her I've had. So trade pile. Obviously, I'm gonna I'm gonna evo her up first, then stick on the trade pile. Last one then people. Last one. Probably going to be a 4 star. If we ended on a 5, it would be amazing. Don't you freeze on me. There we go. Up it comes. 4. A Leia Secret. You know what? I could use that card. I can use that. That's not bad. So there we go, people. 5 Platinum Packs. We've got a 5 star card from it. Which is... That's good. That's what we need. So as you can see, we have 10 left. They are made of 4th. Promise you. I know I make a lot of promises, but this is a real pro this is a real promise. That will stay there. Ten platinum packs, at least on made of four. I'm gonna do some trading to try and bring in some more. So let's see. Um yeah, like I said, there's been so much going on. I'm gonna show you now. Um as you can see, new leader card. This is a 4-7 Luke Skywalker hair to the Empire. Hair of the Empire. I need to check this. So basically, I've traded my two Finn cards, because you, you know, I, I packed a Finn, then traded a Finn, so I had two Finn cards. I uh, traded them in for this, this 4-7 Luke Skywalker. I've also got another 
Luke Skywalker Jedi Knight, which is going to be able to turn mine into an Evo Max. So that's that as well. Uh, it's it's just crazy. I've had so many new cards come in. Um, pretty sure I've got a, another Qui Gon card. Just it's just lots of stuff going on. Lots lots of stuff. So let's go to card binder. Card binder as well. Ooh. So yeah, been a busy man on the trading. This is not an easy game to trade in. It really isn't. But I've been working on it. So let's go with rarity high to low. See what we're working with at the moment. I mean, most of it is on the trade pile. Um, Obi Wan Jedi Master is um, a personal one, so I'm gonna build him. He's a great card anyway. When I when I pulled him, I was a bit unsure, but that was mostly because I'd already had an Obi Wan Jedi Master Evo one that I traded away, and then you go and pull a personal one. You wish you had the damn card back, but that's that. That's that. Then we got an old Qui Gon Jinn again, a personal, so I'm gonna be building him up. I've now got a Qui-Gon Jinn uh, Final Jewel as well. Jabba, I think that's like one of the first cards I ever pulled. Um, Padme is trade bait. We've got the Chair Pile Evo 1 again on the trade pile. Um, Mace Window, I decided to evolve him. So he's an Evo 2 uh, improper at the moment. Uh, Yoda, Exile on Dagobah. This was from Revenge of the Bosses. I did have a, a Sniper Leia, but she's gone too, I've traded them all in, I've been busy, I've been working hard on these. Uh, we've got these two uh, R2s, I'll probably evolve them at some point. I mean, whereas with the 4 stars, I want to evolve them properly, with the 5s, you're probably better off just hurrying up getting to Evo Max with a 4-7 rather than trying to do it all properly, because they're hard to come across. Kit is nearly done, I think I only need one more. I think so I'm not in a rush to get him I'm gonna come across a, a kit five star at some point anyway so no rush there clone commander Cody was a pack I want to say a gold pack something like it was something like a gold pack I got him um, clone commander fire again packed another packed one so he's also on the trade list Tarkin I've had for a while the new Vader we just got I say new he's, he's old Vader but he's new to me so he's gonna be going on there too this one I'm keeping hold of because he's got an interesting skill. It's kind of like um, it's it's kind of like a get out of jail free card sometimes because when he procs, he kills the guy in front of him. So you can come up against a person who's got one card that is super hot, the rest not so much, and boom! If he procs, you get him. That's good. Chewy Hero of Kashyyyk, probably the weakest five star or one of the weakest five star cards in the game, but he's an Evo Max. He's a medium range. It's it's. It's handy. It's handy for my form. Chewy Wookiee Warrior. He's on my trade pile. Luke Hare to an Empire. That's what. Yeah, that's what I said. What the What the hell was that? It, even Max Four Seven. Um, skilled up to forty as well. I'm happy with that. I'm very happy. We have another Luke here, and then as you see on the next page, I've uh, got a, an Evo Two Plus. So this is a properly Evo Evo Two. So that's what. So what did it, what's that? Four cards already gone into that. So yeah, you know, looking good. Leia, that's on the trade pile. Lando is trade. Akbar is trade. BB is uh, non-giftable. So again, he's one that I'm going to have to build up. And he's an awesome card anyway. So, And then we're off to the four stars. I've got loads of four stars. I've got so many four stars that are all on the trade pile. I've got rays and pose and fins and weave. Weave. I've got loads. I've got loads of cards. So yeah, that is the situation at the moment. You know, loads of cards. Legion at war, we're doing okay. Um, how long to the next battle? How long? Until we fight again. As you can see, we kind of whooped some booty on the last battle. Uh, two rank kill. Whoop pow! It really should have been a first rank KO. But um, a couple of us forgot to send out our um, our uh, ships. Ships! That's what we would have done it. We would have just whipped. We were being nice. We felt like. Time to be nice, so we're being nice, so that's cool. So yeah, like I said, big changes to the deck. I've done a lot of trading. Um, it's it's kind of weird because when you get a card like a fin, you feel like you should keep hold of it, but when you're in my position where you're you're still coming up and you you haven't got a, an extremely strong deck, I think my um my proving ground rating is eight. Do you know what I mean? Like so, for me it was like 
you can keep hold of it because it's a new card or you can trade it for something stronger that's going to immediately make an impact which is what i've done so we've got the loop we've got the other uh jedi knight loop which is going to make my uh my base stronger so everything is i'm trying to build up a nice jedi form i'm going to try and get as many uh even max five stars as possible and then when i get to that point then i can start looking at you know different tactics different cards but for now the idea is to get there so i'm after old qui-gon jins because i've got a personal one so i might as well build it you might as well so i'm going to build him up obviously um obi-wan jedi masters need to build him up he's personal again might as well do it i've got the mace let's go to the form actually let's have a look at the form i don't know what's lately but blue stack seems to be freezing whenever i go to formation so let's see if he's going to work with me today are you going to work with me? That was quick, actually. It usually freezes up. So, we've got Kit Fisto. Again, I think he's only one base away from a, a perfect Evo, so that's pretty cool. Um, Mace Windu, Master of Vapad, amazing attack, terrible defense, terrible. So, I'm, I'm contemplating maybe putting in a healer behind him just to try and keep him alive a bit longer. Uh, Luke Jedi Knight, Luke Hair to the Empire. We've got my Awakened 4-star Yoda, skill 50. And his skill is Jedi Jedi defense up. So again, it's real handy for the um, the deck I'm working with. I've got Free PO in there only because a he has a uh, ten thousand defense and he's real cheap on cost. He's like ten. They like cost ten. Um, the wolves are in there again because I don't have a, a huge amount of medium range people. But he's light side. He's medium range, and of course I've got Chewie in, uh, out there as well. And I'm still using the B wing kind of form. Uh, B wing again. Cheap cost, I've got a fully Evo Max Garvin, so i got the best pilot for the ship. You know, th so this is it. For an under 300 uh, cost formation, I think it's pretty decent, and it does well for me. Um, battle strength is uh, 63,900,000 uh, million, million! Tax, uh, 12, 120,000. I, I think that's decent. I think it's decent. So, yeah, happy with it. Support deck, I've only got Battle Reward up because I'm so short on credits. I've just stuck that in there for now, but I could probably use... You know, even though I've got a ship, I could probably benefit from having the Ambush um, support activated. Because B-Wings aren't crazy powerful. I mean, it's pretty decent, but it's not really something you want to build a strategy around. Uh, when you've got two guys in front, they're pretty decent on defense. Plus, you get the skill off of Yoda. I think maybe I should look at uh, doing Ambush instead, but... We'll see we'll see so that is the situation big changes five platinum packs we managed to get a five star out of it which is which is great and to be honest that's kind of the ratio in my experience playing this game the ratio seems to be five platinum packs one five star that's that's kind of how it's how it's gone for me um so yeah that's it that's it I mean, we're gonna do a battle let's do a battle um let me just check because basically, Legion of Wars, uh, the next Legion battle's coming up. And my stats take a certain amount of time to refresh. So I just need to make sure I'm not going to be using them up and not getting them back in time. Alright, 2 hours 44. Yeah, so we can do it. Well, I could actually do all my BP and get it back in time. But we'll just do the one for now. Just so we can have a look at the new forms getting on. Uh, we're going to go there. So this is our, um, our uh, PG rating. This guy has the same rating. His cost is 20 more than me. We're going to try him and see how we do. Let's see how we do. So here we go. Um, he has a ship. Sh it's not really a ship, is it? A barge. He has a barge. Battle score booster is 5 out of 5. Nice. Um, who do we have helping us today? Hey, MLG Red. What's up, my dude? Yeah, we're definitely going to keep him in the game. All right, let's give this a go. Let's give it a go. We'll slow it down a touch just so we can see how the boy's getting on. So, yeah, that basically, that's what we're just going on at the moment. This is a kind of a low-key time. Apart from Legions at War, which is awesome. So, we'll just slow it down a touch there. Um, looking at this, I mean, he's got... No! So I can see he's got a mass and a bell at the back there, which gives a boost to a form. Um, that's Dooku, and I thought it was I thought it was a Palpatine at first look. 
He's got a free PO at the back, kind of like me. Come on, let's click it out. So here we go then, let's see what's up. How strong is this vehicle? Not doing any damage yet, which is nice. Now here comes the slaughter, surely. Right, my Luke is kicking Vader's butt. My other Luke is kicking Sidious's butt. This is looking pretty decent there. I think this is I think we're gonna be okay here. Time limit ain't gonna be a problem either. And it doesn't look like we're gonna take any losses. So not bad. So we've gone up against someone, same PG rating. Um, more costs into their formation and we've we've kicked some serious booty right there. We haven't lost anyone, we're not even close to losing anyone. So how's that? That'll do. Let's uh, get it back up for later. And we win. So, nice. I'm liking the form at the moment. Like I said, need to get everyone Evo maxed. We're not far from getting Mace done. Mace is um, he's close. Kit Fisto is close. Uh, Luke, Jedi Knight. It's going to be... I don't... What's it going to be now? It's a proper Evo 2+. Plus. If I add one base, what does that make it? Does that make it uh, like a 5... 5... 16 or something? I don't know what it is. It's crazy. But yeah, so... It's looking good. We're getting there now. So, instead of hoarding my cards, I'm trying to be proactive, trying to get this form working. It's looking good! We're doing alright on the old packs as well. We're having a bit of pack luck. I've been congratulated. Thank you all for your congratulations. That's it, people. That is it. So, this is probably going to be the last episode before May the 4th. I'm not, yeah. Yeah, I think it will be, won't it? Yeah, I think it will be. Oh, ooh, one thing I have to show you. i got to show you. i got to show you. i got to show you. See, speaking to some people, they're not that happy about this. But me, I'm pretty happy. Oh, let's go this way. No, that's not. Come on, where is it? Come on. Just, just, just slide with you. Just slide. Ooh, Boom Taib Classic, baby! I love this event, and it's back! This was the event that was on when I first started the game. So there's a very good chance that I just don't get it. <laughs> Maybe I didn't understand it properly. Because a lot of people don't seem that happy about this event being on. But I loved it, I thought it was really cool. But, like I said, I'd only just started playing then. So maybe I didn't really understand it that well. But yeah, so Boots Eve Classic is on. I mean, it's probably on right now. By the time you watch this video, it may have even been and gone by now. But yeah, so I've got myself a, um, a young Anakin four-star who's going to be my uh, pod racer. I was building up a, a Gascano, but decided I wanted to go with Annie. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's that's how I'm doing it. Let's have a look. Uh, I should probably click on this tutorial, but I'm not going to bore you with watching me do that. Anyway, so there we go. Next video. It's got to be made a fourth, hasn't it? It has to be. I'm recording this today. I've already got another one. I'm going to do. Probably next video is made a fourth. So anyway, I will see you then. I will have packs. I will have AP. I'll probably be a bit crazy because I'm a Star Wars guy. I'm made a fourth. Ugh, I'm good. Hey, 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 hey. If you're still watching this video now, um, you can yeah, you can hit me up on the App Invasion forum. I'm usually on there. If I'm doing my trading, I'm on there. Uh, if you just want to say hi, pop in, send me a message or whatnot. Twitter, at Revan the Legend. Holler at your boy. Um, ooh, uh, doing a Q&A soon. It looks like the channel's going to be hitting 1,000 subs pretty soon by the rate of growth and what it's on at the moment. I mean, his finger's on like 920 at the moment, and it's, it's going up. So, um, if you want to ask a question for me to answer during my uh, 1000 sub Q&A, uh, leave a comment in this video. Use the hashtag RTL1K. So, uh, say your question, hashtag RTL1K. You can do it on Twitter as well. Go on Twitter, hashtag RTL1K. Ask the question. Easy money. I'll sort you out. Um... So yeah, so get on that, and also, there is another YouTuber making Star Wars Force Collection videos. He makes tutorials and Let's Plays. He is awesome, his name is Jobby Pauls Gaming. Go search him up in the bar. Hold on, my finger needs to be... There you go. So, up in the bar. Uh, yeah, up, oh, over there. 
Go search him. Jobby Falls Gaming. He is awesome. I say he's awesome, so he must be awesome. I'm Raven the Legend, and I do not lie. Apart from Pax. When I'm talking about Pax, I lie. Everything else is not lying. Go check him out. Go ask your questions. Uh, like, subscribe, all that stuff. You know what's up. See you later. Bye 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 bye. I'll see you on May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. Oh, 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 oh. I'm just going to get worse, people.